I'm so happy to see you. Thanks, I man, you too. I know Jake. Uh, just uh, we had one circumstance yeah, that yeah. was so fun. We did screen tests together. Yeah, that was really cool. And yeah. you had just had a baby. Yeah, I have two. There, uh, my kids are four and six. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah it's crazy. Two little boys. Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on a second. The Office. Oh, we yeah, yeah, we yeah, had so a screen so test so and right. we hung out and got to know each other. Right. Is it true that in The Office? You went and did your test, like, right in the office? Yeah, it was nuts. It was nuts. What was that like? I mean, that's such um, an iconic franchise. Yeah, it was my favorite show. And they were adding two guys, and Clark uh, Duke had been added. And so there's one spot available, you know? And you go test, and it's me and ten guys who look like me, you know what I mean? And they drove me out in a van, and I just thought, oh, we're going to some studio that I don't know about, some whatever. And they open the doors, and I think it's going to be into a casting office, and it's uh, the bullpen. Like, it's the set of the office. And Dave Rogers, who's the editor, had suggested, like, um, shoot the test like the show. Um, now, what do you think the casting director and Mike White saw in you for White Lotus? Because that <laughs> character you created was bananas Thanks, good. Man. I mean, every different weird angle going on that comes full circle, and you pulled it off as an actor so brilliantly. Thanks, man. And then you, Thank you. Thank go to these wild places. Thanks. I mean, how did you even come up with playing a character like you played in White Lotus? My, I mean, I, I think, like, anybody who's been on the show at all really, like, Mike White is the answer. Like, Mike is a genius. Okay, White Lotus 3 is, like, in process. Yeah. But you set up this to be this series that now is one of the most important Crazy. things on television, on in our industry. Wow. It's the most brilliant casting. Is there anyone from your season or a second season that you would see, like to see come back? Oh, oh, oh. Well, Molly. Molly. I mean, I just think Molly is, I think the world of her and also is like brilliant. There's a scene in the show where Mike had been like, we're eating dinner and he was like, make up a story, you know? Just the tell dinner a table story. scene. Yeah, and she tells this story and the first take, it's really like this crazy neighbor who was actually CIA and the whole thing. And Mike was like, that's really great. Now have the reveal be that he's a writer, a writer of books and you saw his novel in the airport. And so she gives it the same, like, you'll never believe. And then the reveal is so banal. And that's what's so funny is that, like, that world of, like, the hot goss. And you're like, ooh, what is it? And they're like, they have three dogs. Oh. <laughs> you're like, wait, what? You're all, what? Okay, speaking of yeah. the hot goss, Molly. the new show, I'm freaking out. Yeah, man. I mean, apples never fall. First of all, my new crush on the on planet Earth is Annette Benning. Oh. She came whoever. here. Nyad is yeah. my favorite. The greatest. Uh, this show is so good. It's such a mystery. And yeah. I think people love mysteries. They yeah. love to see the unfold. Tell us about it. It's so good. Well there's Sam Sam Neal and Annette Benning are uh, a couple. They've had this tennis, tennis academy. Yeah. The kids have grown up in that world. There's four siblings. I'm the, the eldest son. Yeah. And um, and then upon selling the Academy and retiring, Joy, Annette, uh, disappears. Yes. And we don't know where she's gone. And days she, are going you know, by. Yeah. Do you know where she is? Do, is you she know? dead? I mean, there's a lot of evidence pointing toward a certain outcome and uh, a certain person, dad, to be the And the where party. you think it's going and who you think yeah. is behind it. And then these other characters come in and you're just like, I, I know it, I know it. And you're like, no, I don't think I do know it. It just, uh. you guys, get on this one. It is good for literally every person in your group. You could watch it alone. You could watch it with friends. You could be young. You could be old. It's a very timeless, like, feel to it. There's something for everyone. And it's streaming now on Peacock. Thanks. You're crushing it. You're killing it. You're Jake Lacey. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.